I just woke up. My head is pounding. I was thirsty. Today I'm going to show you guys my life-changing skincare routine. Not to be dramatic, but I really think this skincare routine has changed my life. So, let's get into it. First thing I want to do is cleanse my face and I use this CeraVe Hydrating Cream de Femme Cleanser. Washing my hands first. There. I feel like for the longest time I was just like completely guessing with my skincare. Like I was trying things and I didn't really know like why I was trying things. I was just like hopefully this one works. But it was kind of messing up my skin. It wasn't until recently that I was like, you know what, why don't I just actually research what my skin needs and figure out what products are actually gonna be good for my skin instead of just buying stuff and hoping that it's gonna work. And lately I feel like this routine that I've been using has made my skin look the best it's ever looked. Paired with being consistent with it, which is something that I definitely haven't done in the past, but yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. The cleanser, I always try to do it for like a minute. Sometimes just like pick a verse of a song and like sing that in my head while I'm doing this or out loud. And that's how I know it's been like about a minute. <laughs> One more thing I like to do when I'm rinsing off my cleanser is gently rinse my face with cold water. I feel like that just like helps close my pores a little bit. Not that you really want them closed when you're about to put products in, but it just feels really nice and I've been doing that lately, so I'm gonna do that now. I feel like it also helps with puffiness too, just like tightening my skin up, you know? So now, I'm using paper towel to dry my skin. Honestly, I just feel like it works better than using like a face cloth, but it feels kind of wasteful. So this is something in my routine that I need to work on. And then I like to wait a few seconds just to make sure my skin is fully dry before moving to the next step. This is actually a newer product in my routine, but this has been so life changing. I can't even believe it. I didn't expect it to be this good. This is the Paula's Choice Enriched Calming Toner with Vitamin E and Primrose. This is super hydrating. It says on here, skin recovery for dry and very dry skin. My skin is very dry. Well, it's sort of a combination, but especially in winter, it gets really dry. So I'm always trying to find like extra things to hydrate it and like lock it all in. This has been really helpful for that. You know how your skin sometimes feels like a little bit tight? Like it feels a little bit dry, dried out. So instead of moving straight into like a serum or even a moisturizer, I have been using this next. And I feel like this really helps to add like a nice layer of moisture before I go into like the heavier, more intensive products. Shake well. It says to apply this with a cotton pad, but I actually really like applying it with my hands. So I just like put a little bit in my hand. And it's like this milky texture. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, it's not working. But it's like a milky water. That's what it looks like. I saw some another day with these like skincare bracelets so that the water didn't drip down because look at this. <laughs> So annoying. I'm like, I really need those. I'm gonna apply a little bit more because that absorbed really quickly. It feels so nice on the skin too. Really soothing. And then again, just like to let my skin like fully dry in between every step. Sometimes I'll even like do this and oh, I will do this and then I'll brush my teeth and then I'll move on to the next step and then I'll like do something else so that I'm like giving each product time to settle into my skin before moving on. So, next step is this vitamin C serum. By the way, you guys, I will link everything in the description box. A lot of it is from Amazon, but I will link everything down below to make sure you guys can shop that if you want. But yeah, this one is from Amazon. It's by True Skin. It's a vitamin C serum with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid. I am almost out of this actually, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to rebuy it, but I kind of decided that I just want to use it like more sporadically, so like only a few times a week. I feel like it's maybe like a bit too much with some of the other actives that I have in my skincare routine. So I might use this in a couple days, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a few drops of this. I don't know if this does anything, it just feels right, so I always do this after I apply like serums. I feel like it just like wakes the skin up, you know? Now the next step varies because I sometimes will just go into my daily moisturizer, but if my skin feels a little bit dry still after all these products, which it kind of does today, I will go in with, oh, this has makeup on it, I'm sorry. I will go in with this CeraVe PM Moisturizing Lotion. This, I actually didn't think I liked this at first, but the more I've been using it, the more I start to like it. And even though it's a PM moisturizer, I feel like it just gives my skin that extra layer of 
moisture again because my skin is quite dry especially in winter creates a good barrier and like helps lock everything in all those nutrients i just gave my skin before i go in with my moisturizer which also has spf in it this one is by cetaphil this is their daily moisturizer with spf 15. i probably could use something with more spf but honestly where i live in winter like there's not a lot of light so it's okay it's good enough for winter i'm just going with like one maybe two pumps of this this is usually the final step obviously spf you don't want to put anything on top of that but i like that it's spf with moisturizer because again that i'm getting hydration but with the spf that i need to protect my skin and i've been using this stuff for probably a couple years at this point i love it, it doesn't even leave me a white cast it's affordable love it. now i'm just putting vaseline on my lips this is the ultimate lip moisturizer There we go guys, there is my morning skincare routine. It's very simple, but also very intentional, and I really have been enjoying this combination of products. They're all pretty affordable. The most expensive one is obviously the Paul's Choice. Even this one was pretty reasonable, I thought, and it's a lot of toner, like this is gonna last a while. But yeah, um, that's my morning skincare. I will also come back tonight when I'm doing my nighttime skincare and show you guys my full routine. But yeah, for now, that is it for the morning. Mm. All right, you guys, it is now the evening time, which means it's time for my nighttime skincare routine. I love nighttime skincare. I can't decide which one I like more, nighttime or daytime. I love both. But anyway, the first step is to cleanse. I I, blah, blah, blah. I do use the same cleanser that I use in the morning. And before I actually cleanse my skin, if I was wearing makeup right now, I would go in with this Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the one for sensitive skin. This works really well for removing my makeup, but I'm not wearing makeup. So today I'm just gonna go straight in with my cleanser. Skin is now clean and dry. Now we can move on to the next step, which is toner. Again, I'm just gonna apply this with my hands. So I would say my nighttime skincare is the same sort of as my daytime skincare but it's a little bit more intensive so this is where i will use more active ingredients and kind of really focus on like those things i want to change or address with my skin and i feel like my nighttime skincare routine has really made a huge difference in how my skin looks overall i used to get like these really intense breakouts on my forehead especially but like honestly all over i'm just, it's just like these massive Break it. But this is where the magic comes in. Next step is retinol. This is the one by The Ordinary. It's actually retinol 0.2% in squalane. So it's a combination of retinol and squalane, but a very small percentage of retinol. I think this is like the lowest percentage that they have, but I knew I wanted to start small because I know retinol can be very irritating to your skin and it was for me for sure. My skin definitely took like a, several months to get used to this, but now that it is used to it, I feel like this makes such a big difference. And look at this, guys. This one's almost empty. Two backups, ready to go. So I just take a full dropper of this and apply this all over. Do a pretty good amount. The retinol is really good for anti-aging, preventing wrinkles, skin texture, helping smooth everything out. And I always feel like when I use this, my skin is like just so glowy in the morning but i don't use it every night i used to use it every night and my skin would break out like crazy and i think it was because it was just too much for my skin so on the days that i don't use the retinol i will use this paula's choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid so i only ever use these two at nighttime i find that that's what works best the fact that i'm alternating them means that my skin is not getting like too much of an active ingredient i think that's really important i think it's the reason why i had these huge breakouts for a long time so that's been like a huge discovery for me it's like alternating just the more intense active ingredients but i love this retinol and squalene from the ordinary it's so good don't forget about your neck always apply down here too squalene is an oil so it does feel very hydrating so sometimes i'm good with just this retinol and squalene but other days, especially in winter time, I need a little extra something to like really lock that all in. These two are my favorites to use as like the last step in my nighttime skincare. Jojoba oil, just pure, straight up, natural jojoba oil. 
or Vaseline. Vaseline is a bit more heavy. The jojoba oil is, it's still heavy, but it also absorbs into your skin a bit more than the Vaseline. This just kind of sits on top. But I think today I'm gonna go with Vaseline. I feel like my skin kind of needs like a nice layer of something to lock that all in. And from what I know, this is basically called slugging, where you like put a layer of a really heavy moisturizer on top of your skincare and it just locks everything in so you wake up in the morning and your skin is glowy it's soft it's plump i definitely don't do this every night though i try to stick to like three times a week doing this because if you do this too much you're going to probably clog your pores so you don't want to do it every day same with jojoba oil i would say a few times a week is probably good with this as well oh, and i can't forget my lips so yeah guys that Pretty much brings us to the end of this video. That is my morning and nighttime skincare routine. It's definitely not perfect. I'm sure there's some things that I'm still missing or some things that would be better than some of these things that I'm using here, but this has been working really well for me and I've seen a big improvement in my skin in the last few months, especially with some of these evening ones, like the Paula's Choice. There's Vaseline all over this, ignore that. But this one helped a lot with my big acne breakouts. And then the retinol, that has made my skin just so like plump and soft and like healthy looking. And I can't believe I was using them together. Like in the same day, I would use this in the morning and then the retinol at night and it was just way too much for my skin. So learning like how to use them and when has been huge for me. Again, it's not perfect, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found something about it helpful or you just enjoyed hanging out with me while I do some skincare. Skincare is like literally one of my favorite hobbies, so <laughs> I love me some good skincare. But yeah, that's it guys. I will make sure to link everything in the description box if you guys wanna shop anything that I used or mentioned. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.